When taxpayers fork over money for assault rifle and bullets, you'd think someone from law enforcement was actually the ones buying it. But Target 7 has learned it was a county manager who bought those items with a county credit card. Here's Target 7's Nancy Laughlin. This is a photo of an AR-15 rifle. It's this gun, a receipt a county manager says was for bullets, and who bought them that's during a hornet's nest in Sebula County. Well, when you, um, when you add two plus two, I don't get four. Um, I, I don't see, I see red flags all over the place. Bob Gallagher just took over as county manager. He's replacing Scott Vinson, who left at the end of May. And Gallagher says it was Vinson who bought that gun and more than $300 worth of bullets on the county credit card. It is something that is, um, is concerning. But Gallagher says he doesn't think Vincent did anything illegal because he says the county commission gave Vincent the green light to purchase professional and personal items on his credit card. Up to 750 bucks a month, $9,000 a year. Gallagher showed us a contract that said Vincent could buy the personal stuff as long as he paid the county back. The state auditor says it's very dicey when government workers buy personal items on government credit cards, including buying an assault rifle and ammo. I am concerned about the public safety and whether or not those purchases were in the best interest of the county. We asked the current county manager where the gun and ammo ended up. A memo states the assault rifle is now at the detention center, three months after it was purchased. Tonight, Scott Vinson told us he had it. He says he didn't have law enforcement buy it because he was the one who oversaw the jail. And those bullets bought with the county credit card? Vincent says he reimbursed the county more than 300 bucks for them. The state auditor is looking into this entire case.